Hello there everyone, Ash and Flesh here and welcome on into a early LEGO Super Mario Summer 2023 set review. Today we are looking at set number 71423. This is the Dry Bowser Castle set retailing for $109.99 USD or $139.99 Canadian. I was able to pick this up early and I built like 95, 98% of this whole thing without instructions. And I could have released this earlier, but I figured it would be better to wait for the app to update so we can get the sound and double check some of the things that I wasn't sure on for the build. But anyways, I'm very excited about this. I think this is definitely one of my favorite Mario sets we've ever gotten. So let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at this set. First thing I actually just want to talk about is the design of this, like Bowser's Castle. It's just so cool. I love how they have this large version of his head all brick built with the eyes and everything the teeth as well it's just so cool with the horns and then down below the jaw and everything it'll play a part in a second but i love just some of the decorations here with like the spikes there the banners with bowser's symbol these chain pieces are just so so cool on each side there as well as just some of the little lava features throughout this whole thing it's just so fun aesthetically i think and obviously the whole turrets there for the towers in green and just these side little ones for these enemies i think overall like this is just such a fun set um when you look at it aesthetically it just it feels like a bowser final battle sort of location so here's the magmarg and it's really cool i didn't realize until doing research for the video but first appeared in super mario galaxy so anyways what you do here is you take mario and you get the coin there but you want to be fast enough because let's say if you hit it it'll actually jump up and fall back down just like they do in the game i think that's that's really cool and then working our way across here you take mario and you actually attach his foot there to one of the studs and you pull out this little staircase here and he can continue on through the castle all right so now we've come here to the back and there's quite a lot more that i've attached um to actually show off and, and play through because there's some fun little secrets and things that you may not have seen from like the reveal posts and videos for this thing so let's go through it so continuing through here you can see there's not a lot going on inside underneath there on both sides you'll see the other side in a second but yeah come through here with you know the steps like you saw before you could actually knock out the bone prana plant there and then scan the tile to get some coins and this is what it looks like from the front here also, there is this spot here that'll play some Bowser music, but you can have Mario actually lift some weights, which even Dry Bowser can also do it. And we're going to continue the workout theme here. So you could take Dry Bowser, actually have him punch the punching bag, which I think is really fun. I think that's a fun little play feature. But then you could take Mario and you could have him do the same thing. But wait a second, he's missing the bag. What you do is you push that out once and he can punch the bag. That's so cool. So I'll come back to this treasure chest in a second. And in behind the crane, you could actually knock out one of the Goombas. And again, just to show you here from the front. Over here, like on the ground floor, there's not much going on. I don't think I mentioned this before, but nothing going on inside of the castles, turrets or anything, just like some candles and nothing else up top. But zooming on out here to the crane, um, you do actually have, let's see if I can just detach this for a second. You've got this print or this uh, pre-applied sticker. Zooming on out here for the crane, I just want to show you, you do have a toy tag at the top for you to actually scan uh, with Mario. And when you're on the crane and you rotate it around, should make some sounds oh, yeah. so zooming out here for the crane i just want to show you there is actually a toy tag on top there but uh when i can attach it there you go to actually have it fully elevated what you do is you push this little red part here back lifting the crane up to this angle and then you just hook the cage onto it and i think this is one of the coolest things so specifically here for the set what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take one of the toads that you rescue and you put the toad and you can hang them inside of this cage and dangle them and move them around if you wanted to. But uh, obviously when Mario frees them and, and you can knock out the spot here to drop the cage, 
there's actually a big enough opening for Mario to slide on inside and rescue the toad. And I don't know if you realize, but because if Mario can fit inside of the cage, well, that of course means that so can Peach. Now they're a little heavy and it's starting to lift off all the plates, but you can put Peach inside and she's just the right enough height. They accounted for that when they designed the cage. And then of course, also Luigi can fit inside as well. All right, so coming back here to the front, I wanna show you uh, how to set up the fight. So what you do is you take Bowser there or dry Bowser and you lift up the front part of the jaw and you have to attach it onto this little bit of red sticking out. You see that there? So this is what the jaw looks like when it's fully closed here with dry Bowser in the back. Anyway, so I believe there's a couple of ways to actually beat Bowser here. So one of them being um, that you actually can free the toad here, if I do that really quickly. But then you get access to the crane. So you attach it again, just to show you, and you could hear there's some sound effects as he turns the crane. But anyways, when you lower it there and lift it, and then lifting up, there we go. That's the best fall. And just resetting it here to show you that uh, you can actually spin Bowser there. And the more you do that, he'll fall off really easily. But uh, the idea is, of course, like you saw when I set this up here from before, when this is fully forward and that's attached, when you put Bowser there and then you take this little black part here, the tile, the plate, I mean, sorry, I misspoke. When you pull this out, it'll drop the jaw out and then you can just move forward and knock Bowser out. Giving you access here to this little block with the key on it. And when Mario scans it, he gets the key. So come back here with the key. You take Mario and attach him there with those, again, to the studs. And he can actually open up that treasure chest. But this is one of the more fun things, I think, here in the set. We've got these plans to destroy the Mushroom Kingdom. And, like, we've got a little micro-scale Bowser airship. We've got uh, Peach's castle there. As well as, if it focuses, we've got this 2 by 4 print of, like, blueprints for his evil plan. That's so cool. I love that little play, f that reference there that they've included. And then over here on the side, we've got, like, one of the world maps and the levels, like the classic, you know, walking around to the different castles and toad houses. And then here on the other side, a uh, bomb, like the blueprints for that and the plans for that. And it's so easy to close on back up. And this is probably my least favorite part of the set. I know that there was like some spots that were like a little empty, but this just doesn't look very good. I don't think the design of this, like... Like, what is that? I don't know. That just doesn't look nice. And same up here. Like, I just think this could have been cleaned up a little bit more for the price you're paying. Also, one final thing that I'll mention here in terms of uh, transportation and storage, it's very easy to actually detach this into three sections. And obviously all the little smaller spots too. But like this detaches and it's its own like main big build here, which you could, I guess, then add these side little buildings to like the previous Bowser castle. And here's Dry Bowser. And saying that I love Dry Bowser is probably an understatement. I think that, you know, I always love when he pops up and when he's pushed into the lava and Dry Bowser appears. But even when it comes to like Mario Kart, I, I often pick to use Dry Bowser over, you know, regular Bowser. So this is really cool. I can't believe that we got this variant for him. He's built a little bit differently in terms of like how even the shell is attached, which was some of the things that I was struggling with um, because of the limited pictures I had to use to, to build this without any instructions. But yeah, they changed it up a little bit, small little things. But it still, it looks and feels just like the other Bowser. You could actually raise and, uh, you know, move the arms different ways there as well. That's pretty much the only articulation you've got with this. But I love just some of the details like the rib cage and, of course, the mouth print there as well and the eyes and the eyebrows and everything there. Like, it's just, it's really incredible. And the colors, I think, just from Lego's palette looks and works really well here. But taking uh, Mario here, what you do is you, once he's on the floor, obviously knocked out, you just... 
jump on him a bunch of times to defeat him. I want to look at the Bone Piranha Plant next because this is probably my, besides Dry Bowser, my favorite character here in the set. Like, this is definitively, I think, the best Piranha Plant build we've gotten so far. And I think a lot of that has to come down to the new pieces from the Rivendell set. Like, the leaves just work really well. I love the look of this, and you can actually open up the jaw just a little bit there and have it chomping up and down. I think it just looks really, really great, and uh, there's no toy tag on it specifically to defeat it, but you already saw that from before here's the bone goomba and i it, it looks great you know we've gotten this before it's actually really interesting because we've got this uh two by three plate there that well i guess it's it's a modified one since it's got the two studs in the center anyways it's got some printing on the side which is cool for like the skull effect the eyes look great and then obviously on top you've got a spot for mario to jump on and defeat the enemy and you've also got a little bit of a variant here with the foot stepping forward and then here's the purple toad and this is the first uh set i guess you could call it that we're getting one because uh a purple toad appeared in one of the character packs so it is technically exclusive to the set with this variant as well with the shocked mouth. But yeah, the purple toad isn't new. It would have been cool to get a new version of the toad. But still, really, you know, I don't mind getting another version of this, I guess. All right, so we're going to play through the course, and uh, we're not going to do some of the things in the back, because on the app itself, they don't do that in the tutorial for, like, playing through the course. So uh, I've added the starter, starting pipe and then the end flag there, too. So let's go ahead. Let's go through this thing. Whoops. So 35 coins for doing everything there. Obviously, you know, you, there's the puzzle, there's the working out and all the other different things. But uh, yeah, that's what they show you doing on the app itself. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Dry Bowser's Castle Battle Set. I think that, again, it's definitely up there for me for some of the best Mario sets that we've gotten. I really thoroughly enjoyed it this i think it's just a lot of fun it feels like a bowser final battle and the enemies and different things here but for me like the standout is still like dry bowser like oh my goodness so happy to have that version another like outfit and character from uh, mario kart that i can put uh, on my shelf with all the rest of the characters but be sure to subscribe turn on the bell notifications so that you don't miss out on future lego super mario set news and reviews hope you guys did enjoy the video hope you all have a great day i will see you all in the next one